Practice Test 8. Part 5. Question 56. Three phase alternating current motors can be reversed by changing the wiring from the line from ABC phase configuration to CBA. Reverse three phase AC motors by switching wires from ABC to CBA. Switching the wires on a three phase AC motor from ABC to CBA will reverse the motor. Question 57. Dual voltage 277, 480 volt motors are made with two windings, each rated for 277 volts. The field windings are connected in parallel for 277 volt operation in series and for 480 volt operation. Dual voltage 277, 480 volt motors with two windings each rated at 277 volt field windings are in parallel for 277 operation and series for 480 operation. Dual voltage, 277 and 40 motor. Each winding rated at 277. Parallel wire for 277 volt. Series wire for 480 volt. Question 58. What size motor is required to produce 30 kW output? 40 HP. Motor HP to kW ratio. 1 HP motor produces 0.75 kW. So, 40 horsepower motors used to produce 30 kW. 30 kW output require a 40 HP motor. Motor HP to kW ratio. 1 HP motor produces 0.75 kW. Question 59. What are the output watts of a 15 HP motor? 11 kW. Motor HP to kW ratio. 1 HP motor produces 0.75 kW. The output watts of 15 HP motor is 11 kW. 11 kW output watts from 15 HP motor. Motor HP to kW ratio. 1 HP motor produces 0.75 kW. Question 60. What are the output watts of a 5 HP motor? 3 phase 480 volt, efficiency 75% and power factor of 70%? 3.75 kW. Motor HP to kW ratio. 1 HP motor produces 0.75 kW. What are the output watts of a 5 HP motor? 3.75 kW. 5 HP motor produces 3.75 kW. Motor HP to kW ratio. 1 HP motor produces 0.75 kW. Motor HP to kW ratio. 1 HP motor produces 0.75 kW. 1 HP equals 0.75 kW or 746 watts. 5 HP equals 3.75 kW. 10 HP equals 7.5 kW. 15 HP equals 11 kW. 20 HP equals 15 kW. 40 HP equals 30 kW. Motor HP to kW ratio. 1 HP motor produces 0.75 kW. 1 HP equals 0.75 kW or 746 watts. 5 HP equals 3.75 kW. 10 HP equals 7.5 kW. 15 HP equals 11 kW. 20 HP equals 15 kW. 40 HP equals 30 kW. Question 61. A transformer is a stationary device used to raise or lower the voltage and has the ability to transfer electrical energy from one circuit to another with no physical connection between the two. A transformer is used to raise or lower voltage from one circuit to another with no physical connection between them. Transformers can raise and lower voltage between circuits with no physical connection between them. Question 62. Transformers operate on the principle of Manual induction Manual induction is the principal operation of transformers. Transformers operate on the principle of Manual induction Question 63. The length of supply cord shall not exceed 10 feet for a 120 volt room air conditioner. 10 feet is the maximum length supply cord for a 120 volt room air conditioner. 
120 volt room air conditioner will have a supply cord of 10 feet max. Question 64. The length of supply cord shall not exceed 6 feet for a 208, 240 volt room air conditioner. The length of supply cord shall not exceed 6 feet for a 208, 240 volt room air conditioner. 208, 240 volt room air conditioner will have a supply cord of 6 feet max. 120 volt air con supply cord 10 feet max. 208, 240 volt air con supply cord 6 feet max. 208, 240 volt room air conditioner will have a supply cord of 6 feet max. 120 volt air con supply cord 10 feet max. 208, 240 volt air con supply cord 6 feet max. Question 65. True statement. Receptacles installed on a 20 amp circuit have an ampere rating of either 15 or 20 amps. True. 20 amp circuit may have receptacles with an ampere rating of either 15 or 20 amps. True. Receptacles installed on a 20 amp circuit have an ampere rating of either 15 or 20 amps. True. Question 66. How many amps are required for an arc welding machine? 100 to 500 amps for arc welder machine. 100 to 500 amps required for arc welder machine. 100 to 500 amps required for arc welder machine. Question 67. What kind of bit would you use to drill a hole in a brick wall for conduit? Carbide bit for drilling brick. Use a carbide bit for drilling a hole in a brick wall for conduit. Carbide bits are best for drilling holes in brick walls. Question 68. Voltage in the secondary winding of a transformer is dependent on the number of secondary turns as compared to the number of primary turns. True. Voltage in the secondary winding of a transformer is dependent on the number of secondary turns as compared to the number of primary turns. True. Voltage in the secondary winding of a transformer is dependent on the number of secondary turns as compared to the number of primary turns. True.